Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. I've got a K2 Disruption 75W for you today. Great option for ladies who are in the beginner to intermediate range of the spectrum and are looking for something that's nice and easy to use uh, but still has kind of a higher end feel. And that's what's really great about these K2 skis is that they're using technology borrowed from kind of the higher end models and they filter it into, you know, this lower end model. Um, and by lower end, it's really just a great value. It doesn't mean that it's a straight up beginner ski. This is a big upgrade from any type of rental ski you're gonna get. Uh, and if you're buying something for the first time, this is a great place to start. 75 millimeters underfoot, built with a composite core and a cap construction. Uh, it's durable, it's predictable, and it's gonna last you a while. So there's a lot of positives going into here in terms of both value and performance. Uh, you know, the value in that you're getting the skis and the bindings, and you're gonna be able to progress and learn on these. And then the performance, you get some of the higher end things from K2's line that filter into this. Um, in the higher end disruption series skis, we see either a titanal I-beam or a carbon I-beam, and this just has a composite I-beam. So they're taking this mid portion here, so the composite core, and then beefing it up in the central uh, spine of the ski, and then going tip to, uh, edge to edge underfoot rather. Uh, and that's just giving you a little bit more dampness and a higher end feel uh, in the ski. Um, you know, and it doesn't come at the cost of weight like the metal does. So you're getting the benefits of that technology, but in a more value-based package. So a great option for that emerging skier who's learning how to link carving turns, uh, just having that extra stability and dampness in the forebody, the tail, and then the edge-to-edge -edge grip underfoot is really a huge bonus. Uh, but we do see that composite core and a cap construction. Cap construction is great for skis like this uh, for two reasons. One is durability, so it just eliminates any, uh, you know, any of the sidewall from hanging off, chipping, or anything like that. Uh, you know, it's going to stay looking like this for a while, so if you plan on keeping these for at least a few years, uh, they're going to look just as good as they do right now. It's a great uh, durable style of building, like a lot of high-end park skis that just get you know, beat up in the terrain park all the time are also cap construction. So it's technology that comes through from there. Uh, and then also it does a nice job of keeping a nice cohesive unit together, adding to the, kind of the quickness and the agility of the ski. So by having everything kind of function as one piece, it just gives it a more predictable feel overall. So a great way to build this ski kind of in that beginner to intermediate range. Uh, we're at 75 millimeters underfoot, so narrow enough for most groomed terrain, and just a little bit of extra width kicked in there uh, for you know later in the day when the snow starts to pile up a little bit. Uh, just kind of keeps it a little bit smoother, better balance point for you to stand on. Um, and then we are looking at a 13.1 meter turn radius in this 163. So a little bit longer than what we see in some of the more beginner oriented skis that have very tight radi radius that just really want to get you to turn and be up on edge. This puts you in a little bit better control, a little bit more of the driver's seat and that you're able to lengthen out the turn, kind of dictate your own shape and duration of the carve. Uh, and that just kind of gives it a little bit higher end feel. Nice metal bumper on the front here as well. And then nice rubber in the back. So this is all built for durability uh, and just kind of a longevity purpose, but great value. Awesome ski overall. Great that they're able to use some of that upper end technology uh, filtering through. And then we even get just a little bit of tip rocker as well. So no one's mistaking this for a powder ski, but the rocker is definitely more there for turn initiation purposes, kind of allowing you to slide into the turn and then you get that nice carving power throughout. A Little bit of tail rocker as well, giving you a friendlier release and then just making it more confident and better to stay you know, stay on edge and just getting from turn to turn. Uh, just a great overall job by K2 at this level and price point. Uh, we do offer this as a package as well. So if you're looking to even further that value, um, you can get this ski and binding with boots and poles as well. So keep that in mind if you're looking to purchase your first set and that'll really kind of put you in the driver's seat as to get into the mountain, not going into the rental shop and having a nice set of skis, boots, bindings and poles for years to come. So make sure you check out these K2 Disruption 75W here at SkiEssentials.com, and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.